are talking about the events happening in the past, uh, we can use simple past and past continuous. All right. We often use simple past and past uh, continuous together if we're talking about uh, the events that happened in the past. As you can see, uh, one action is in duration. Imagine playing computer games or uh, playing online games. I was playing computer games. Suddenly, another action interrupts the first action. Somebody called, all right? So, uh, which action happened sooner, started sooner? Definitely playing computer games. It started here. I was playing computer games. Suddenly, somebody called. My mom called. This action interrupted the, fir the first action that was in progress. So, as you can see, I was playing computer games. I was playing computer games when my mom called. All right? When my mom called. Which, hap uh, which, which one happened sooner? The first one, playing computer games, was in progress. Suddenly, my mom called and interrupted this action. Let's go through more examples. <clears throat> it says, when they arrived, when they arrived, Jeff was cooking dinner. Two actions in the past. Which one happened sooner? Or which, uh, it's better to say, which one started sooner? Jeff was cooking, they arrived, they interrupted his cooking. While I was reading in bed, I heard some noise. Again, which one happened sooner? The one that was in progress. I was re reading, I started reading sooner. I was in the middle of reading that I heard some noise. Okay? I took a photo of Jake. While he was not looking, he was looking, suddenly I took a photo, photo, two actions in the past. So would you please repeat, when they arrived, Jeff was cooking dinner. When they arrived, Jeff was cooking dinner. While I was reading in bed, I heard some noise. While I was reading in bed, I heard some noise. I took a photo of Jake while he was not looking. I took a photo of Jake while he was not looking. All right, more examples. It says, oh, we were waiting for the bus. We were waiting for the bus when it started to rain. Again, the action in progress happened sooner. It was in the middle of it. Then suddenly it started to rain. So we were waiting for the bus when it started to rain. The second one says, while the students were doing a test, while the students were doing a test, uh, they were in the middle of the exam, a mobile rang. Ring, rang, wrong. A mobile rang. <clears throat> and the third one, Sue did not go out because, because it was snowing. Because it was snowing. Repeat, please. We were waiting for the bus when it started to rain. We were waiting for the bus when it started to rain. While the students were doing a test, a mobile rang. While the students were doing a test, a mobile rang. Sue did not go out because it was snowing. Sue did not go out because it was snowing. All right. Now, uh, but, uh, what do when and why do in these sentences? There are conjunctions. Joining two sentences together, all right? As you can see, uh, that can be used to talk about situations or actions that take place at the same time, somehow at the same time. We use when for the simple past or the past continuous sentence for both of them, but while can only be used for the past continuous one. As you can see here, 
It says, while the students were doing a test, a mobile rang. We use while with the past continuous sentence. While the students were doing a test, a mobile rang. Also, we can say, when the students were doing a test, a mobile rang again. When can be used with the past continuous. But if we want to, to use when with the simple past one, we can say, the students were doing a test, or we're doing a test, yeah, we're doing a test when a mobile rang. So as you can see, we have got two clauses. One clause contains the, simple, uh, the past continuous tense, and the other one, the simple past one. As you can see, we can use while or when with the past continuous one, and when with the simple past form. The other option is starting with the simple past form. A mobile rang while the students were doing a test. We are using the past continuous form uh, in the second clause. A mobile rang while the students were doing a test. And the other form, a mobile rang, again, instead of while, we can use when. When the students were doing a test. All right? So, Two, two uh, points you need to pay attention to. While and when can be used for the past continuous form. While can only be used for the past continuous. Uh, we can start either our sentence either with the past continuous clause or the simple past clause. All right. Uh, another thing that we can use while we're talking about events happening in the past or present uh, is the sentence adverbs. Sentence adverbs, as you can see, it says they refer to the whole statement. What, uh, what are the, what do adverbs do in a sentence? As we had before, adverbs modify the verb. They explain more about the verb, only about the verb. But sentence adverbs are different. They're talking, they're referring to a whole uh, statement. That's why they are called sentence adverbs and they act as a comment showing the attitude, your opinion, or the speaker's thoughts or belief. Take a look at these two sentences. The first one says, sadly, the forests are now under threat. The second one says, she smiled sadly. In the second one, sadly refers to the verb. So this is not a sentence adverb. But the, the, the first one, the first example, sadly, it refers to the whole uh, statement. The forests are now under threat. متاسفانه درخت و جنگل ها در معرض آسیب قرار دارن. So it is sad that this is my opinion, this is my belief. But the second one, sadly, only refers to the verb. She smiled in a sad way. These are called sentence adverbs. We have got a list of some of them. Sadly, uh, would you please repeat after me? Sadly. Sadly. Strangely. Strangely. Amazingly. Amazingly. Fortunately. Fortunately. Naturally. Naturally, hopefully, hopefully, luckily, luckily, suddenly, suddenly, surprisingly, surprisingly, unfortunately, unfortunately. Accidentally, accidentally, and the last one, interestingly, interestingly. So, as I said, whenever we're talking our, about our opinions, our thoughts, we can use sentence adverbs, a comma, and then we give our opinion. Take a look at these pictures. We have got four pictures here. Uh, I want you to pause the video and a uh, number uh, match the pictures with the statements which one is number one uh in the first picture the woman looks sad 
So this is the first one. Sadly, my cat disappeared last year. This story is about this woman's cat disappearing. Sadly, or also we can say, unfortunately, my cat disappeared last year. Which one is number two? And the second one, she has found her cat again. So this is good news. Amazingly, amazingly, she came home last night. Amazingly, she came home last night. Number three. Oh, the cat has got a sweater on. Strangely, she had on a little sweater. Strangely, that was unusual uh, for the owner of the cat. Strangely, she had on a little sweater. And finally, fortunately, sh she was very healthy. Fortunately, the cat was very healthy. Would you please repeat? Sadly, my cat disappeared last year. Sadly, my cat disappeared last year. Amazingly, she came home last night. Strangely, she had on a little sweater. Fortunately, she was very healthy. All right, let's do the uh, same Practice with this picture. Do that, please. In the first picture, actually picture number five, uh, which sentence matches this picture? Exactly. Unfortunately, I lost my wallet yesterday. Unfortunately, I lost my wallet yesterday. Bad news. Which one is number six? Suddenly, I realized I didn't have it. Suddenly, I realized I didn't have it. Uh, the third picture, somebody has found it. Luckily, someone found it. And finally, surprisingly, she brought it to my home. Surprisingly, she brought it to my home. Repeat, please. Unfortunately, I lost my wallet yesterday. Suddenly, I realized I didn't have it. Luckily, someone found it. Surprisingly, she brought it to my home. Okay. Now, it's your uh, turn to complete the story using sentence adverbs, past uh, continuous, and simple past. I was cooking in the kitchen. I was cooking in the kitchen when suddenly everything went dark. Luckily, I had some candles. So you continue the story, please.